Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on how I play In the Midnight Hour by Wilson Pickett, also known as the Wicked Pickett. Steve Cropper played guitar on the original recording, and I will show you how I play it using only two chord shapes. The guitar is tuned standard, E A D G B E, and the key is E major. The chord shapes we'll be using are an A chord shape like this. In order to play that, I'm holding down the B and high E string at fret 5, the G string at fret 6, and the D string at fret 7, and I'm strumming from the D string for that chord. We'll be moving that chord around the entire song. Now, if I go by where my index finger is. For the intro, we're going to start here at a D chord at fret 10. Then we'll move down to a B chord at fret 7. An A chord at fret 5. And a G chord at fret 3. So the intro is played like this. One, two, three, four. 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 And that's our intro. Now after we get past the intro, we're going to go to an E chord here at fret 12. And for the verses, we'll be playing the E chord, and then we'll move to the A chord. And we'll repeat that process. We'll play this one, two, three, four. 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 In order to keep better rhythm, I like having my arm go up and down like this, and sometimes I'll brush the strings like that and play one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I'm only playing from the D string down on all those chords. So for the verses, we're going to be playing this. One, two, three. I'm gonna wait till the midnight hour. That's when my love comes tumbling down. I'm gonna wait till the midnight hour. When there's no one else around. Next, we'll go to the pre-chorus, and for the pre-chorus, we'll go to a B chord, and we'll bounce from a B chord to an A chord, like this. You're the only girl I know that really loves me so in the midnight hour. Then we're back up to our E chord. Oh yeah, just you and I. After that, we'll do a little break that goes like this. For that, we're going to play a D chord right here. Now for that one, we're holding down the A string at fret 5 
and borrowing from the D string down at fret 7, but we're not playing the high E string. Now a lot of times I'll mute the high E string by putting my finger against that and then I'll pick like this. So that keeps that high E out because if you play that it'll sound like this. I don't want that. I want this sound. And for that sound that we get, that sliding sound, we're going to start at fret 4 and slide into fret 5 like this. So, so we're striking it and sliding into it like this. And we're going to do that four times. That's how we're going to play the verses and choruses. Now what we're going to do is play the bridge and for the bridge we're going to play this. So we started that with an E chord, A chord, E, A, E, D, B, E, A, E, A, E, a, B. Now once we've gotten past the bridge, we're going to go back to our E and A. And that's the way we're going to take the song out. We're going to go back to our E chord, our A chord. In order to keep those chords from ringing after I strike them, I'm palm muting with this hand like this. Well, all right, my friends, that's it for now. That's how I play In the Midnight Hour by the Wicked Picket on guitar. Thanks for stopping by, and have a great day. One, two, three, four.